Let us pray the angelus. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Our for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and pour in me to the Lord of heaven and earth. 
Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of a sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today's gospel reminds us also of the role of women in the life of Jesus and in the life of the church. We continue to ask the Lord Jesus to grant us the heart to be welcoming, most especially to ministers, both men and women, in our church. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for the intentions of this Holy Mass. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, teach and urge these things. Whoever teaches something different and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the religious teaching is considered understanding nothing and has a morbid disposition for arguments and verbal disputes. From this come and envy, rivalry, insults, <coughs> evil suspicions, and mutual friction among people with corrupted minds who are deprived of the truth, supposing religion to be a means of gain. Indeed, religion with contentment is a great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, just as we are shall not be able to take anything out of it. If we have food and clothing, we shall be content with that. Those who want to be rich are falling into temptation and into a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires, which plunk them into the ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evils, and some people in their desire for it have strained from the faith and have pursed themselves with many pains. But you, men of God, avoid all this. Instead, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you were called when you were made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the people in spirit, the kingdom of heaven endures. Bless the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Why should I fear in the evil days when my wicked ensnarers ring me round? They trust in their wealth. The abundance of their riches is their boast. Bless the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Yet in no way can a man redeem himself or pay his own ransom of God. Too high is the price to redeem one's life. He would never have enough to remain alive always and not see destruction. Bless the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grow rich, when wealth of his house becomes great. For when he dies, he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Bless the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he counted himself blessed, they will praise you for doing well for yourself. He shall join the circle of his forebears, who shall never more see light. Bless the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Please stand. Hallelujah, 
nakikinig ako sa iyo mga salita Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Glory to you O Lord Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. During the time of Jesus po, and even in the Old Testament, kapag magsusulat po ang mga writers regarding history or even story about yung kunwari about their group, about their communities, rarely bihira lamang po na nagme-mention sila ng mga pangalan ng mga babae. Why? Again, because women during that time were second-class citizens. So, sa stories, lalaki parati ang bida. No? Lalaki parati ang binibigyan ng main character. Ang mga babae, may be mentioned but hindi, hindi gaano. But in our Gospels, Nakita po natin na ang mga evangelists natin, kagaya po ng ating gospel ngayong araw nito, si St. Luke, no, mentioned women, no, pinangalanan niya yung mga babae na sumasama kay Jesus, no? Sabi ni St. Luke sa ating gospel, may mga 12 apostles na sumasama kay Jesus, but aside from the 12, meron din sumasamang mga babae kay Jesus. Very important po ang ang part ng gospel na ito kasi ipinapakita sa atin that Jesus and even the apostles and the church respects women, gives dignity to women, no? Hindi hinayaan lamang ng Diyos o ni Jesus na kagaya ng kultura nila noon na maging second class citizens ang mga babae. But, Jesus gave them opportunity na sila rin po ay magsilbi sa simbahan. Kagaya nga dito, pinangalanan po si Mary Magdalene, si Joanna, at si Susana. Importante po ang naging role nila. Number one, sila po ay sumunod kay Jesus, no? During that time, na ang sumusunod lamang po ay ang mga kalalakihan. Number two, na important role po nila, hindi nila iniwan si Jesus. Remember po, during the crucifixion, everybody left. Iniwan lahat ng mga apostles, ng mga disciples si Jesus. Sino ang naiwan? Si Mary, the mother of Jesus, St. John, the evangelist, and the other women. Ibig sabihin, ang mga kababaihan na ito nandoon sa crucifixion hindi natakot na baka sila ang isunod ng mga ng mga Romano o ng mga Hudyo na i-persecute they were not afraid no they were there they, they did not leave hindi nila iniwan si Jesus kaya very important po ang kanilang role and another thing po these women Sinir po nila ang kanilang, hindi lamang po ang kanilang buhay para magsilbi kay Jesus. They even shared their resources. Ano po ibig sabihin nito? Yung iba sa kanila po ay may, kay, may pera, may, may estado sa buhay. At yung kanilang mga kayamanan ay binahagi nila sa simbahan 
para may, ma- may tulong sila, kunwari po, when they go from one town to another, saan sila kukuha ng pagkain? Di ba? Kasi hindi naman sila nag- nagtatrabaho during that time because they went to from one town to another preaching. So, ang mga babaeng ito ang nag-share ng kanilang mga resources, no? ng kanilang mga kayamanan para maipalaganap ang salita ng Diyos. No? So that's how Jesus saw them. No? Na very important po ang role ng mga kababaihan even during the time of Jesus. No? Mabuti po nga ngayon, di ba? May mga teachers ng babae, meron ng mga nagtatrabaho sa mga opisina, meron ng lawyers ng mga babae, may mga presidente na nga rin na po ng mga babae, di ba? We give dignity them to them already, no? Because Jesus saw that even during His time, that women are not just second-class citizens, but women have a great role to play in the life of the church, no? Kagaya nga po ngayon, no? Unfortunately and sadly, karamihan sa ating mga lectors, karamihan sa mga nagsisilbi sa simbahan, ay ang mga kababaihan na, no? Na unti-unti pong nawawala ang mga kalalakihan sa ating pong mga ministries, no? So today, we acknowledge the role of women sa ating pong lipunan, no? We acknowledge the role of mothers, we acknowledge the role of women in our society, kagaya po ng ginawa ng ating pong gospel ngayong araw nito no ng ating pong evangelist na si St. Luke. So what can we learn then from our gospel? Number one, that we continue to respect women, no? Kagaya nga po ngayon no na we con- we are we are living in a world na na sometimes medyo hindi mapagbigay ng ng respeto sa mga kababaihan. Today, Jesus reminds us to continue to respect women. Number two, let us give them equal opportunity, especially in the church. No, kagaya po ngayon, they serve sa simbahan, they help us to foster the spirit of the church, no, the foster the message of Jesus in our gospel in the world today. Then lastly, Jesus reminds us also that women can do Uh, something also that men can do, no? And that is also to help in the building of the body of Christ here on earth. So, as Jesus continued to love, respected, and gave opportunities to women during His time, let us also do the same, no? Remember, one of our greatest love is the Blessed Virgin Mary, no? The mother of Jesus. We, she is the model of women. She is the model of mothers. We continue to give them that respect. We continue to give them that opportunity as Jesus did. Amen. Please stand. Full of hope and confidence, we make our prayers to God, our Father, anxious for the increase of His presence in our lives. In every petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God even in our difficulties and trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. That children may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer that the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering of Christ. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. That our beloved dead <clears throat> may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to grasp the importance of time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit like the women in our gospel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church look with you Lord, for our supplications O lord and your kindness accept these your servants offerings that what which has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through christ our lord amen And with your spirit, we lift them up to the Lord. It is right and just. It is truly right and just for our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was blessed from them, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, the minions of war and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and blessed seraphim worship together with the occasion. May our voices will pray, join with yours, in humble praise as we acclaim you. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the 
the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Listen. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when his supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you all the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the God of worthy, to be in your presence as a minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be one with the one of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and the Father, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your saints. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, to the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, bringing men to be four heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in me, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. The Savior's command informed the divine teaching we dare to say. Sa aming mga sal 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look now to our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Mundo 
sa pag-ibig ay kapos. Ikaw, Jesus, ang tinapay ng buhay, binasbasan, hinati, Let us pray. May the working of these heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Prayer to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart. I come to ask you this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. Sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. Accept this, may act of perfect, be pleased to accept this, may act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother, you entrusted me her to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Marayo Virgen a Piat Asing ame kalulungan Sikap 
Ngawi aki guta Yena kana kagayan Sikawi aki guta Yena kana kagayan For a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me. And calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know, dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 